<clears throat> What's up, you guys? So, um, I've got a couple of friends that I know. Um, I don't want to say their names, but, uh, they're stealing, or not, they're stealing, not, they're not stealing anything. Um, they're still dealing with, um, some problems and stuff like that. I guess you would say. Not like financial issues, just like family issues. So, I wanted to read to them um, a day at a time uh, the, the reflection for the day on November 17th. Okay, and this is nothing personal to you guys if you know who, you're, who you are. I love you all. Just saying. Many of us in the program stubbornly cling to false ideas and positions simply because we fear we'd be left defenseless if we admitted having been wrong. The thought of backing down still seems distasteful to some of us, but we come to learn that our self-esteem soars when we're able to push pride into the background and truly face the facts. Chances are that people with true humility have more genuine self-esteem than those of us who are repeatedly victimized by pride. Does pride deviously keep me from the thorough and continue attention to the tenth step? Today I pray. May pride stay out of my way now that I've found a road to follow. May I avoid that familiar destructive cycle of pride the ego that balloons up out of all proportion and then deflates with a fizzle may learn the value of ba backing down. And then one last thing to remember. Pride is the arch enemy of self-esteem. That's pretty important stuff right there, you guys. Coming up on Thanksgiving, so pride is the arch enemy of self-esteem. Just remember that. Humble yourself, you guys, this Thanksgiving. And be thankful for what you have. And realize everything in your life is there for a reason, okay? Much love. God bless. Peace out.